Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to create a raised tile background using GIMP. So I've got this, uh, this new layer that I've opened up inside of GIMP, just kind of uh, gone to File New. And the size that you choose for your, your texture is going to really depend on the size of the final image you want. So play around with the values that we use here and don't take anything that I put in here as the only value that you can use. So first things first is to create the checker background. We're going to go to Filter, Render, Pattern, and then to Checkerboard. And you'll see that this checkerboard is red, and that's not really the color I want. This is going to mess us up a little later on, so I'm going to hit Cancel. And the reason that it is red is because that's the current color I've got selected. So I'm going to come over here to where it shows red, click on that, and go to Black. Now we're going to go Filters, Render, Pattern, Checkerboard. And uh, I found that a size of about 50 for this size canvas works pretty well. I say OK. And now we're going to duplicate this layer. So select the layer over in the Layers panel and push Duplicate. And with the new layer selected, I'm going to click the Move tool and begin moving it a little bit. Now to see what this effect is having, I'm going to click on the layer and choose for its, uh, its display mode, Multiply. And this is looking uh, pretty horrible, but bear with me. We're going to push it off to the, to the upper left corner just a little bit. Now the last step is we want to blur that layer that we've moved. So we're going to go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you want this to be pretty blurry because this is actually going to be the background that the raised tiles are projecting, or the, uh, the shadow. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to say OK. And there you go. Now it looks like these tiles are raised off of the white tiles and they're projecting a shadow. You can change the length of the shadow or how far off the background they are by clicking on that top layer and moving the shadow around. So it's kind of like a, almost like a manual extrude there. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a raised tile background using GIMP. I'm Josiah Ray.